Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here, and I'm super excited to be the May guest designer for Click Kits. So here are some photos of the May kit and all of its contents, and I'm going to go through them very, very quickly also in the beginning of this video. First, I'll talk about my photo, which is a picture of a plaque that's in our swimming pool, and our pool is probably, I don't know, like maybe 40 years old. It's really old. It needs to be replastered, but I just thought that that was really cool that it had that in there. I haven't seen one of those before. So I wanted to scrapbook it. I'm starting off with this stamp that is a pineapple. It's from Hero Arts, and it's one of the add-ons that you can purchase with your kit. And you can also use my discount code, which is Kate10, on for 10% off of the like add-on things in the store. Anyhow, so I am what I'm doing is gold heat embossing this pineapple probably like 20 times. I don't end up using all of them. But I did fussy cut them out and I left a little bit of a white border and it looks like a very detailed stamp but it was actually surprisingly easy to cut out because y'all know I am not a big fussy cutter. I don't really like to do it. But I just sat in front of the TV and did them all and before I knew it I was done. So I'm starting off with a piece of 8.5 by 11 cardstock. I don't normally use 8.5 by 11 but I thought the maybe it would work and then I decided that with all of those pineapples and that kind of larger photo that I just didn't have enough room. It needed more room. So I'm going to switch to a 12 by 12 piece of white cardstock. And originally I go with this like kind of nine grid pineapple composition. And then I think, no, they need to be scattered out and maybe create like a background. And then I think, no, 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 no. Go back to your original instinct. And I stick with the kind of, you know, three rows of three. Sorry, my husband just left to go to a concert and my dog is like, he gets a little anxious when dad leaves. So anyhow, I had a pretty clear idea of how I wanted this layout to turn out. And so it didn't really take me very long. And I really wanted to kind of make this a starter page in my album for the summer months and like the, mainly the pool the focus of having a pool. We're really excited to have a pool. And so I knew I wanted to use those craft um, thickers to do the title of summer 2015. And then I had a really hard time using this polka dot paper for the background because I love this paper. And it has, a, you'll see the other side is super cute. And in the end, I just decided to kind of cut the middle out and use it as a frame because I really liked how it tied in the craft alphabet to the um with the background it kind of gave it because there's no other craft besides the alphabet so I took that's a flare um, button that comes in the kit and then that little label I don't know if I showed them they're one of the add-on products that you can purchase in the store they're from um, Kessie Art or Kessie Art I believe it's a French company they're really cute so I just kind of placed my alphabets onto or my letters onto a ruler um, I couldn't find my wax paper or else I would have used that. So whenever I, not whenever, but sometimes when I'm working with stickers and I'm not quite sure of where I want to place them, I take my embossing tool and just rub the powder on the back of them and it takes the sticky off and then you can move them all around. And now I'm taking some of the, you get a couple of pieces of um, washi like strips from the Amy Tangerine Rise and Shine collection. And so I'm just taking some of that. As you can see, I kind of gutted the middle of that paper. And then I took some kind of scrap pieces from just the different pattern papers and cut some like photo corners out of them. And I cut a little bit off of the yellow of that label because it kind of hung out too far. So now I'm just lining up my pineapples, which are definitely kind of the focus of this layout. And I'm putting a little photo photo corner in the upper left just to kind of mimic the photo corners behind the photo. And I've also added a couple little strips of washi tape uh, or maybe just one in the top left. I don't know. I made this layout a while ago and I'm just now doing the voiceover so I can't remember exactly my process. I did obviously put the picture up on some foam dots <laughs> or foam adhesive. And I'm just kind of seeing how how that title is going to look. I haven't committed yet. I'm just putting the bottom layers. And I use my T-square ruler to line up things 
when they're floaty. In other words, if that photo corner was crooked and then the picture was crooked, it'd be really obvious. Whereas like when you're kind of doing big clusters of layers, it's not so distracting if it's not perfectly straight, I guess. So now I'm just putting the title down. And I really like the font of those stickers. I think that they're really fun. And I like their craft because you can do so many things with them. And you'll see in the video, I do end up adding some little detail to the thickers that I think just really makes them look cool. So now I am going ahead and adhering this label down. And I was going to stamp the date on it at first, but then I decided, I think, I think I just decided to use these epoxy embellishments which are super cute from the Amy Tangerine Rise and Shine collection and I wanted to bring in so the colors I was trying to bring in were the teal and the yellow and the pink and so I tried to represent those with the embellishments so now I'm laying out this grid and the way that I lay out a grid normally I'm not super fussy so I will do like kind of the upper corners and then maybe one in the center just to get the spacing and then do the ones around it like kind of line them up and it's probably not perfect but it looks pretty close to me so i was i was happy with it and i wanted them to have a little bit of dimension without being on like dimensional adhesive so i just use my my glue gun it's my probably my favorite crafty tool i took this piece of paper from the rise and shine collection and i'm cutting out some little labels and I'm trying, I'm thinking, feeling like that 2015 needs something behind it. But then I decided that it didn't. And I pulled this little piece of chipboard off of a, I think it was a crepe paper uh, chipboard pack. And now I'm just adding a few more layers of photo corner and then that little label on the top because I felt like it needed some weight. All the weight was at the bottom of the picture because of the the title and the photo corner or the the layers behind it so I, I I felt I felt like the top corner needed something too so and then I'm gonna add a little strip of yellow washi tape I really like those that book of washi tape strips because you get such a variety without having a whole you know roll of each one it makes it very affordable to have um, options so I'm just using a little bit of Tombow mono multi glue to just on the top of those thickers because if you remember I put the picture up on foam adhesive so I don't want the the bottom half of them to stick or else it will be like uneven so I'm just doing the top part and now I am outlining the white paper and I did kind of curl up the edges a little bit and then I'm also going to add some detail to the title with my pen and I did test it out on the letter Z before I did it. I think it was a Z. Yeah, before I did it right on here because there's no going back once I did it here. So I'm just drawing a thin line, just tracing the shape of the letters. And I just think it adds something really cool. And I got the inspiration for this from a pack of thickers that came out, I think, with one of the crepe paper collections that's like an a cream color with a gold stripe in the middle that's where I got the inspiration for it because it's a very similar font and so I just decided to make my own so here are some final pictures of the layout I ended up stamping the date in the bottom right hand corner and adding a little heart and also that little hello sunshine thing so I hope you have enjoyed this process video and that you'll give click kits a try um, I'll put the link below thanks guys so much for watching and stay tuned to my channel for more projects using this fun carnival kit I'll see you guys real soon.